Welcome back, everybody. Just heading down the ground floor. So we can get started on today's build. So we are over here next to our gunpowder farm. And this spot that I have marked out is going to be uh, the library. This will be the north side library. We have the south side library, which was probably about as big as this one section here. North side library is a bit bigger, as you can see. And it's going to house a bunch of books. So we're going to have normal books in this section. I have a little seating area over here for seating and reading. Have some stacks going off in that area, and then we got some more over here, and then way back here, where you'll have to go through this corridor, is the specialty book section, like for magic books and stuff. So this will have a special desk here, and then it's a special room just way out here, so it's almost not available to the general public. I think I've got all the supplies I need. I may have to make a couple supply runs, but we will uh, do our best to get this complete. So the entryway is going to come out just a little bit. There's no, uh, no like porch, but right here will be the doorway. But I wanted a, uh, kind of a porch entry, at least an entryway. So this will go up, there'll be a peaked roof right here, and then it goes right into the wall. And the majority of the wall is going to be this granite. We are going to have a lot of windows, so this will be mainly window. So we'll have like granite on the corners, probably just three out each way, which means I need like three more there. But this would all be open window because we need a lot of light for people to read and stuff. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Let's do. Like that. I don't want to make a, like a target there. Oh, that looks better on the outside. I was just trying to get away from that square with the uh, polished block in the middle. Oops. Don't want that one. Just sort of randomly putting these polish blocks in and then the majority of it's all going to be just normal granite oops there we go dang it I lost the block down into the water there I knew I should have put the floor in before I put the walls. And speaking of floor, so down the middle, I'm going to go with this white calcite block, which actually is a really rare block because you can only find it in the geodes. It only has a certain amount, it's not a huge. Not a huge amount. I think I've already got like three stacks. And then we just got our granite, or not a granite, our quartz, which is not as rare because that's all over the nether. And the rest of the floor is going to be this, uh, well, the red nether brick around 
the perimeter. And I think I'll run it down this way too. So that kind of marks the section. Just finish up this. Well, that does kind of have a design. Well, it does connect, doesn't it? So, thought maybe it's directional, like we get with the the um, polish. Not polish. Is it polished? The clay blocks. Uh, after you cook them, you get the special clay blocks. And those are all directional. This calcite stuff is not. Um, trying to see if I want to leave this here or not. I think I'm going to remove it. if I leave it that way it looks you know kind of like it's going to a door which I could have a door there but it doesn't go anywhere I mean it would go into this tiny little area here I guess I could lead it all the way over to this area but I don't want it it's that's like too narrow of a gap to make a proper proper path through so this out here is just kind of be wild stuff the wildlands. I may put a uh, door here and there just so you can get out there and then put some chairs and stuff so you can actually read outside. So it's kind of the indoor part of the outdoor. Outdoor part of the indoor library? Outdoor indoor. So and then here, let's just block this off. I think I'll just continue. Like that for the corridor. Because it's not going to be very long. It's just going to be this short little spot there. I'm not even going to continue the white you know, quartz and stuff down this way. This is just all going to be kind of a transition like that. And then the walls will be Let's get our granite in here. whole thing off right here. I'll leave a little window there, a little window here. Yeah, so it lines up with the uh, the opposite wall. 
Speaking of which, let's do that. There. So I get the walls lined up. You know, then this wall is just going to continue on this way. So you kind of get the idea, the red brick is going to be on the outside. And then the actual nether brick will be on the inside. And then I, I want to put some kind of design in the floor. So right here is going to be where the check-in, check-out counter is. The librarian sits, I guess. It'll be here. So let's this across like that. Like that. And then for oops. For design, I'm just going to put stripes. I'm definitely going to have to figure out some kind of lighting scheme. Yeah, just a soul pattern. Not a real design or anything. Just kind of line it up and I may actually forego these so we'll just have this funny pattern going all the way all the way down It's like every couple like that. So that gives you a good idea of what things are going to look like basically from a uh, construction or foundation setting. So let me go ahead, go ahead and build out all this, you know, walls and floor and all that. Maybe even put a roof on it. I think the roof is going to be spruce. I'll see if I can maintain a random pattern for the walls here. That's a really narrow corridor here, but that is actually kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to put windows all the way down that hallway here. So this will all be windows through here. So when you're standing here, you can actually see through the windows on the other side over there too. And then we'll just keep doing this until we uh, get the walls all built. I think I'll be back in a little bit. Don't know how long this will take for you. You won't even notice anything. It'll be almost practically instantaneous. We'll probably just gently fade to black. And when we come back, we will have walls and stuff and be ready to do the interior. As long as I avoid that creeper. You were supposed to be inside there. I don't know why. 
I mean, I don't know why there's so many creepers spawning. It's kind of a... I've just noticed that all over the world, there's like creepers galore. Which probably is why my uh, farm is uh, producing a lot of gunpowder. Where did he go? Oh, he's, there he is. He's like merged in with the... With the sugar cane there. Kind of trying to blend in so I don't notice him, I think. I can sneak over here and grab my gun. Oh no! Oh, uh, where are my arrows? I'm out of arrows. Go away! Go away! Go! Go! I don't have any weapons. The weapon I have doesn't have any bullets. Hey. I don't want you to blow anything up. He's going to sneak up on me. He's going to sneak up on me. Okay, while I run around and try and stay away from this creeper, uh, we're just going to take a break. the heck I guess well they are mammals but normally they're not on the ground you must be after that fish and just can't get to it there we go I've never seen such a crazy thing he didn't know if he was a dolphin or a kangaroo I guess he's taken care of. Now we can, uh, I guess I can go. Wow, I can get back to work.
So that puts a roof on the place. Ooh, let me glide down here. Try not to kill myself. Ooh, that was close. Oh, what did I do? I got, oh, I'm stuck. Well, that was a miserable failure. So anyhow, I got the roof on. I wanted all these different angles, kind of with each section, I just put a roof on it. Trying to keep a, not a low peak, but a moderate peak on everything. I am going to have to decorate or, you know, firm up the inside here. A little bit of architectural detail, and I think it should be okay. And then down to the hallway, I need to get a little more glass to finish the skylight. But then we end up with this library here. So this is the, the specialty library where we'll have bookcases and magical books all along the edges and stuff. And then I envision the desk would go right here. So we're going to end up with a desk here. So when people come down the hallway and they get to this point, it, they can't just go rushing in. They're going to have to check in at the desk and then be allowed in here to look at the special books. So now I just need to clear up the ends of these holes here. And I've got some oak trap doors for this. Let's so there. Oops, that's not oak. That's jungle. Ooh. Well, that's not what I want to do. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Dang it. There. All that does bring me over here, I wanted to do this. I thought that big white block was too much. So we have the kind of the front cover there. And you can see a lot of the white through the jungle trap doors. So, so I like the way that looks. Well, if we get up here, trying to see, trying to fall. There we go. See how that looks. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. And it's got a little dark contrast to the red bricks on the outside, and then the white window kind of pops right there. So I have a few of these. Like this end here. I think I can just block this one up like that. So that'll be okay there. And this end.
that. Yeah, that looks good. So I just need to do the same thing to this end. Is that that crazy dolphin again? Touch shovel, which is good. I think the only thing I'm missing is this corner. There we go. We have one over here. finish up the corner or the ends on these um, sections and let you see what it looks like since you get the idea of what I'm going for I just need to fix this oh this one here what I want do I have no no I don't spoke too soon let's get over here I want to get some dark oak So for here, I think it'll go right. Oops, dark oak there. No, dark oak. Right there. So we're just going to bring a beam all the way across, which actually makes sense architecturally, because you would need a support for this big a span. I'm going to carry that. Kind of make a little box frame there all the way across and i think that'll help on this end over here because it was kind of just hanging out in the air so now i've got a base where i can proceed so like that Let's see how that looks. I think, yeah, the glass will join up with all this. And I'm probably going to need a few more beams here and there. Just to make it look you know, look good because I think that that's kind of what this the we need up here is like just like a few cross beams going across these rooms and it's getting dark so I'm gonna have monsters spawning so I better get some sleep so I've gone along added in a bunch of these beams 
and filled in the ends of all the different peaks. So it's starting to take shape. I think it looks starting to look like a library. Had a little bit of work to do on this. I wasn't sure it's an odd angle. So I kind of just extended the wall up, made a tiny little window, put the beam across. And then I got this big tall hallway, another beam over this doorway, and then we get into the library. And then I realized uh, this episode is starting to run a little long. So I think this part is just going to be getting the foundation for the library built. Oh, I have a visitor out there. So like I said, this uh, part today is just getting the foundation and the basically the building for the library built. And then we will furnish it in the next episode. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed and please have a wonderful day. Bye bye. I thought I saw that crazy dolphin again.